Joe from IST Group and in today's video I would like to show you some general settings of a YSJ web application. We'll start with a simple web page application. I will call this one test. Okay, we don't need this introduction page. I need my error list and I need uh, the toolbox probably. So uh, let's see what we have so far. I'm starting this application and there's my main window. Okay, so uh, that's working fine. Now let's look at this main window. And here we see the first thing. The header is gray, uh, while the header of uh, the window at runtime is blue. So how does this uh, happen? Here we have a setting for the theme of the design window. And this one is set to graphite 3. At runtime, this is not used. Instead, it uses what is defined here in web.config and this one is blue so let's change this to graphite 3 now we run the application again and there we go now we have the correct theme so the next thing that bothers me is there is the standard fav icon uh, I want to use a different one so what do I do? We don't need this one anymore. Here in this project solution we have the fav icon and we simply can exchange this one. Let me drag another one from my second desktop here. Okay, override the old one and now when we run we still see the same. How does that work? Um, the problem is that uh, the browser uses uh, a cache and caches uh, those icons. Even if we reload, it still uses the cache, cached icon. But if you hold control and reload then, you have the new icon. Okay, so that's fixed. We have the correct theme. We have a fav icon. Uh, what's next? Um, I would like to use a background image on this background of the browser. So how do I do that? All VoiceJ applications have a default.html page. And this page is usually empty. All it needs is this script to execute. Uh, remember, VoiceJ applications are run inside the browser and the browser needs a starting page and this one is usually called default HTML or index HTML sometimes. But VoiceJ uses a default HTML. So what we need here is uh, insert um, some kind of background page. How do we do that? Um, this now is the only place where you need to do some HTML and um, CSS. First of all, I insert this prepared style and I also need a div here. So what does this do? The div has the idea of background and background sets a URL, which I don't have. So I drag this one into my project solution. Now, there it is. Here it is referenced. So this one is set to the background. And uh, for the details of this uh, style settings, I suggest you refer to Google and uh, Google how to set up uh, uh, filling background images. Um, this is not part of this uh, video. But now, when I run the application, you see I have uh, the background in my browser and I have my YSJ window on top of it. 
Okay, that's already pretty fine, but still it says test up there. What I can do is I can change this uh, test to my application, for example. When I run now, it says my application. I can also set this to loading and now I go to my program and insert application application dot title equals my application now when I run the um, application look at the tab of the browser it starts with being loaded and now it says my application okay these are general settings inside the um, browser inside the, the solution inside web.config but there's also a default.json and this is the last one I want to show you you have a lot of uh, settings that are commented out uh, the main things um, that have to be there are these two so uh, YSJ knows which is the default page and what is the main window but you can also uh, use session timeout which uh, defines how long it takes until the web server thinks that the session timeout tells the uh, web server when this session is no longer in use. Uh, usually it's set to 120 seconds. That's uh, two minutes. You can set this to 3,600 for, uh, for one hour. Session time out. 3,600. And what you all also can do is set the theme right here. You remember the theme could already be set from default HTML, but you can use it here as well. For example, use, what else do we have? Let's see in the window. For example, we have Vista 2. Vista 2. And now when I run, you see a little bit of Vista feeling. Okay, so now you know what the settings are that change the initial look and feel of your application. You know the difference between having a design time theme and having a runtime theme. You know how to change the fav icon and the title. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.